Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I will show you how you can record machine to in Cubase 8. In this particular video, we are going to take a look at how you can record instrument sounds in machine 2. Uh, so in other words, not uh, samples as in the previous videos, but instrument sounds. Uh, so we're going to start off by adding a instrument track. Um, you can add a rack instrument if you want. Um, it's not going to matter. Um, load up machine 2. Okay, so we're just going to close the uh, machine window for a second because we have to take a look in Cubase first. Um, we're going to, I thought we were going to do two instruments in this video. So we're going to add another MIDI track and we can call this machine too. And add that and we can rename this to machine one. Okay, so the nice thing about the updated version of Cubase is that if you have added a instrument track and you add a MIDI track, the MIDI track is going to have the same input channel. So this one is already set to uh, 01 machine 1 MIDI out, and that is that instrument track. Um, but we want to make sure that the first track has the correct uh, input writing and as you can see now it's set to all MIDI inputs and we have to change this to 01 machine 1 MIDI out and make sure that is set to channel 1 and make sure that the second channel uh, second track is set to channel 2 so that's all we have to do in Cubase but we can just give the tracks different colors first just to easily tell them apart so give the first one a red color and the second one a yellow color so now we can open up um, machine window again and find some instruments to work with. So let's bring up the browser window, click on library and the uh, little keyboard icon up here. And just before we uh, continue, you want to be in keyboard mode. If you see the little keyboard icon down here, that means you can use the uh, machine pads on your machine hardware as a keyboard so you can play it in a scale in other words not as you would with samples but you would play one instruments and uh, one instrument in a scale so on the first track or the first sound slot here we can choose a massive preset okay so we're going to double click on that and it's going to be automatically assigned to uh, whichever sound you have selected um, but we need one more sound, so we're going to click on sound 2, and I think we can use the Polyplex as an example. Polyplex is a really great uh, reactor ensemble. Okay, so now we have two sounds. We can just give them uh, the same colors as in Cubase, uh, just to keep things tidy. Uh, so on the first uh, sound, we want to set up the MIDI correctly. So the question is, how do you set up MIDI correctly uh, to record in Cubase? Well, first of all, you have to go to the group um, group tab up here. Click on the little uh, knob. Go to input and MIDI and make sure that this one is turned off. We're going to turn this off because all of our instruments are going to be loaded at on one group. So we're not going to add multiple groups up here. We're going to have all the sounds down here. So now you're going to want to go to sound and input and MIDI and activate this one and set the channel to channel one and make sure that MIDI through is off. And then you want to go to output MIDI and set the destination to host and make sure that the MIDI channel is set to channel one because this is the first track and keep the transpose at zero. Um, another thing that you would want to double check is if you click on the little uh, power adapter uh, icon, uh, we can see our massive uh, preset here, or VST here. So if we double click it, we can open up the massive window. And if we expand it by clicking on the crayon, 
um, you can see on top it's set to MIDI all uh, and preferably we want to set this to MIDI channel 1 in other words the same MIDI channel as we uh, set in machine and the same MIDI channel as we set on the first track which is the which is the track we want to record on okay so on the second sound now we want to do the same go to group click on the little <coughs> um, the little knob input make sure that this one is off and then you can go to sound input activate make sure you're in uh, MIDI activate and set the channel to channel 2 because this is the second track make sure that MIDI through is off and then you can go on to output set the destination to host make sure that the channel is set to channel 2 and set the transpose at the zero and so we're going to want to double check that the MIDI is set up correctly inside the VST itself so we're going to double click to open the polyplex expand the window and if you click on the little pin up here uh, it's going to stay on top just a quick tip okay so polyplex works a bit different in the way that you set up midi uh, so but the i think the easiest way would be just to click on the little uh, keyboard icon here and use the midi learn function to assign each of the sound to the correct or desired pad on your machine hardware so we're going to click on midi learn and then we're going to press the first pad on the machine hardware and then we're going to click on the second sound and press the second pad on the machine hardware and now you can see that it changes according to the machine hardware click on the third click and press your third pad on the machine hardware and so on just to assign each of the sounds to the correct pads on the machine hardware so that's all you have to do and turn off midi learn and you can go out of the midi setup so now we have set up polyplex to work with machine so let's just go out of polyplex or reactor and click on the first uh, instrument we have the massive uh, preset and we can just try to record something now to see if it's working just double check that you're in keyboard mode okay close this window and we'll see what we can do that's it um, so now we can try to add some drums with uh, polyplex just thought I wanted to show you um, two more things in this video uh, if we bring up the machine window again uh, one of the nice things with polyplex is the able to uh, randomize all the sounds so in this case uh, the sounds in uh, the second tracks didn't really sound um, it didn't really fit with the first track so what we can do is just to start a playback and while we are playing back we can click on the dice uh, button up here and this will change all of the sounds randomly so yeah just uh, have a listen and we'll see what we can do Okay, so if you click on this button, you will randomize all the sounds. In other words, you will change them into just something completely random. Uh, but let's say that you, you like this kick. 
but you don't like the snare. I, I don't even know what that is, but <laughs> it sounds really cool anyway. But if you want to change just the uh, second uh, sound, you can just click on the dice. Okay, it's only getting worse now, but... Yeah, you get the idea anyway. If you click on this, you will basically uh, open Pandora's box or more, more or less that something like that okay so that's the first thing and the second thing i wanted to show you was how you can add or separate the two instruments in the mixer if i start to play back now you can see that everything is going out to one channel in the mixer but very often we would like to keep them separate it's really easy to do this in machine um, but first you have to click on the instrument track itself in cubase and go to activate outputs click on that and since we have two instruments we want to output channels so we're going to click on one more and you can see another one popping up down here in the mixer so in machine you click on the mix icon and on the first instrument we want to send it to external one and on the second instrument we want to send it to external two so if I start to play back now, you can see that uh, each of the instruments are assigned to a different output channel in the mixer. So we got the polyplex here and we got the massive preset on the other one. So that's how you record instrument tracks in machine into um, Cubase. Um, if you have any problems, make sure, please make sure that you have updated to the latest version. Uh, I know in the previous videos, a lot of users who have had problems uh, have had problems just because they haven't updated. Uh, so I can't stress that enough. Uh, I'm running QS 8.0.5 and Machine 2.2.3, but um, you should just update to the latest version uh, whenever possible. Okay, so if you have any comments, leave it in the comments below the video. Um, until next time, take care, guys.